The countdown has begun for India's latest moon mission, Chandrayaan-3. The launch will happen on July 14th from Sri Harikota. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has undertaken a 24-hour launch rehearsal simulating the entire launch preparation and process for Chandrayaan-3 mission to the moon. The main aspect is a soft landing on the moon because ISRO has succeeded in all other parameters set for a proper landing on the moon. Now, the rocket will carry the Chandrayaan-3. This is, in fact, the LVM-3M4 rocket. Uh, this will be India's second attempt to soft land uh, a lander and rover on the lunar surface. The lander, a spacecraft that lands softly, will have the capacity to soft land at a specified lunar site and deploy the rover, which is a vehicle that essentially moves around the moon to carry out an analysis of the lunar surface. Now, what's the difference really between Chandrayaan-2 and Chandrayaan-3? Well, there will be no orbiter this time around. We are pleased to give you these exclusive visuals of the exact launch pad, the second launch pad from Shah in Sri Harikota, from where the LVMT rocket will be launched on 14th of July, 2.35 p.m., carrying Chandrayaan-3. Behind us, you could see four towers, and in between those four towers is the place where Chandrayaan-3 is currently present, and that, like, uh, the countdown will start soon. It will be fueled, and the three-stage rocket, of which the first stage is a solid stage having two S-2 100 boosters and the next one is a liquid state with L110 and the final one is a C25 Vikas engine, a cryogenic engine, indigenously made, one of the marvels of ISRO, will carry Chandrayaan-3 up to the moon. And the very important aspect is that ISRO this time has given the, the lander a lot of space of deciding on its own because the Chandrayaan-2 was desi I mean, designed to only land in an area 500 meters into 500 meters but right now it has been extended to 4.5 kilometers to 2.5 kilometers in that area the, the uh, lander can land. So all these uh, uh, parameters have been set. The main aspect of Chandrayaan-3 is for a soft landing on uh, the moon's surface because every other parameters ISRO has succeeded. Ms. Divyan, Pramod Madhav, for you today. India is waiting for a great moment as Indian Space Research Organization is all set to launch Chandrayaan-3. Behind us is a model of the rocket GSLV MK2 and the LVM-3 will resemble this model only. And on either side of this rocket, the columns you see, those are S-200 solid state boosters. And in the center part where it is written GSLV, that is the liquid stage and on top of it, we will have the cryogenic engine C25. Over that, that particular pod with the Indian national flag, that is a heat shield which will be carrying Chandrayaan-3. This is a module which will have a propulsion module, a lander module and the rover. The main aspect of this, engine, the, uh, uh, this mission is to uh, uh, do a soft la landing in the lunar, on the lunar surface and it, this is the second attempt of ISRO. Here also ISRO has made it very clear that this time they are going for a failure-based model. They are calling this a failure-based model because whatever information that was gathered from Chandrayaan-2 has been incorporated to it. The issues with Chandrayaan-2 was called as error accumulation which led to crash landing. It is not a failure. So all the lander module has to do is take a picture compare it with the data that has been fed already into it and it, it has only do final corrections to avoid any object that is 30 centimeters or bigger for a soft landing. ISRO claims that as all other parameters have been successful, it is only going for a soft landing post which releasing the rover on the lunar surface. Divyan, Pramod Madhav, for today.